Hello, hello. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. And you? Uh, I'm fine too. Okay. Thank you. Let, let me try a new instrument to teach today. Uh, uh -huh. pizarra. It says pizarra and soon. Let me, let me see, Yolanda. I'm going to try. Uh, okay. I'm trying. Um, oh. Okay. Let me see if I can write something here. Okay. Hello, Yolanda. Can you see the the pizarra, the the, the board? Uh, yes, the yeah. white board. Ah, but in this case, can you read hello, Yolanda? Uh, no. 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 Sorry, let me try. Okay, hello, Yolanda. Yes, in this yes. moment. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. Let me see. It's because today we're going to practice. Practice? Uh, yes. Some About sentence. what, teacher? <laughs> it's like a mini quiz, but. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just okay. <laughs> Don't say Perfect. it. Good. Let me see. Then uh, going back. How can I go back? Okay. I don't know how can come, I can come back, Yolanda, let me see. Uh, I read, hello, Yolanda. Only in that, the right? white, white screen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I cannot come back to the, to the principal screen. Let me see how to come back. Okay. Well. What kind of quiz? You share with us, teacher. <laughs> uh, well, it's a quiz that <laughs> we are going to to do in class. Don't worry, it's not evaluated. It's no way. It's not evaluated. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. Al compartir su pantalla se cerrará la pizarra para donde se continuar. Continuar. Okay. Okay. I cannot return. Hey, hello, Dagoberto, welcome. We're making an experiment with Yolanda here, how to, to work with the pizarra, with, this, with, the, with the board, whiteboard, right? And, but, but I cannot come back to the, well, let me see. Uh, chatting. Okay, tell me what did you did what did you do? Sorry, today in the meantime. Okay, in my case, I have mm -hmm. a good day. What uh, did you because, do today, Yolanda? Uh, in my case, I have a good day mm -hmm. because uh, my uh, uh, day was calm. This okay. was calm. Uh huh. Okay. This okay. was my, my first day. Uh, after vacation. <laughs> ah, my goodness. So yesterday you were on vacation, Yolanda. Yes, the only day teacher because okay. I work uh, during all week. <laughs> okay, okay, so congratulations to you. How about you, uh, Dago? Can I can I call you Dago? That's okay, Dago Sí, um, yeah. it's okay. Good. Uh, uh, I... What's your day today? Oh, good, good. Uh, the first day of uh, after vacation too. Ah, you're a mathematics teacher too. That's why you, you were on vacation yesterday, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Nine o'clock? <laughs> Ten o'clock? <laughs> okay. Uh, exactly. That's now, it. Congratulations, I, yes. Working as a teacher is very hard. I understand. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, Nice. I have now. Nice. And Sofia, how are you, Sofia? Hello, teacher. I'm oh, fine. Welcome. How was your day? Tell me. Uh, a little tired. Okay. Why? Why? Tell me. Uh, because my mother is sick oh, and sorry. I'm 
go to take. You you took care of her. You took care of take. her, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But she's better now. Or you are will you will continue tomorrow to taking care uh, of her. Yes. Oh, okay. So I hope she she gets better. I hope she gets better. Uh, we have to pray, right? We have to pray for those who suffer uh, sicknesses, right? Or illnesses, you know? When you're sick, you say, I have an ill, I have a sickness, right? So I hope your mother get better, Sophie. Okay, class, go. Okay. Now, let's go and let's start with the class, right? Today I have a, a mini quiz <laughs> because I want to be sure that you understand the indirect request, right? Uh, yesterday we were watching some videos, but before to start with the videos, uh, I have some questions. Yolanda, Dago, and Sofia, did you finish the the platform, all the exercises? Yes, in my case, yes. Yolanda, okay, good. How about you, though? Dago, did you finish uh, everything? I did too. Okay, good. Sofia? Yes, teacher. Yes, good. You didn't have troubles to to complete an exercise or no? A little, but I'll finish. <laughs> okay. How about the midterm <laughs> test? Remember that in the middle of the course, we're going to make a test, right? And when, when you finish, we're going to make the final test. So this is the midterm term. For today, we have programmed the midterm test, right? Okay. So did you finish the test or not? Yes. Yes. Okay. So for Yolanda, it's going to be a review. Dago and Sofia? I finished it. The test. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's going to be a review. So it's going to be a breeze for me. It's going to be easy for me because you finished, right? <laughs> so, but even though uh, I have the obligation to make the review with you, right? So we're going to go together. So in that case, I will dedicate more time to to this topic because I find this topic very difficult, right? So we're going to do it together. So let's start with the with the video number. Yesterday we saw two videos, right? Today we're going to see the video number three. Okay. This is the one, right? Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you learn how to make a direct request. We use indirect requests when you want to get a message to someone who is not present. It's okay. Can you hear? Can uh, you hear the audio? No. A little. A little. Slow. My God. A little. Let me check. A little. Yes, because low. I see this. The audio is not very good. Let me see what happened here. Let me see with my computer. It's a little platform. The, maybe the platform, right? Because me, my computer is good. I mean, it's full. But it's a, well, it's a platform. It's a platform. Of, okay. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I, I listen very well, but this time, mm, so even though I will give you the explanation, but let's continue. Let's continue. Let's We can hear. We can hear you, teacher. Now? I can't. Now? We can't. No, no, no. I can listen. Yes, it's the very, platform. Very far it's the away. platform. Okay, uh, but only focus in, in watching only, right? Because in the video, you can see the example here. Right? Yeah. Only watch, only watch. Questions into 
that in this case, we are no longer given a message, but asking a question instead. And so therefore, the word that we uh, use is no longer tell, but uh, we use the very nice. So what I want you to do next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write a couple of more questions here. And this time, I would like you to try to come up with some way to answer those questions. So if that right request, I want you to do it in three, four times or so. So, Jennifer, do you have my number? This is actually the example that's here. Could you ask Jennifer whether or not she has my number? Jennifer, do you want to be part of the thing? Could you ask Jennifer? Okay, that's it, right? Now, uh, here we have some examples, right? And, and we're going to develop this example. Uh, but before to start with these examples, I will explain uh, the structure we were working uh, yesterday and today. Number one, statements. Number two, imperatives. Number three, yes, no question. And number four, WH question. For each, um, for each, uh, we have uh, a video, right? So we have four videos. Video number one is for statements. Video number two is for imperative. Video three is for yes, no question. And uh, video four is for WH question, you know? Okay. So then uh, every, every part has an instructor. For example, with the statements that could be affirmative or negative, we just simply use the verb tell and you use the name of other person. And remember yesterday we were practicing. In this case, Jeff, Tony is having a party. Could you tell Jeff could you tell uh, Daniel, could you tell Rafael, welcome to the class? Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, let's say that Yolanda is having a party. Or could you uh, tell uh, Rafael, Yolanda is having a party? So in this case, you just tell, you just communicate one idea with one person to another and to another, right? With the imperatives, yesterday we saw this, we changed the imperative into an infinitive. Listen, imperative 
to infinity. So we add the preposition to before the verb when it's affirmative, right? And if it is negative, we add the word not to show that the, the sentence is, is negative, right? And today, sorry for the, for the video, for the violence of the video, but uh, in the video we were discussing yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no question. In the yes, no question, we use the word if, okay? Or if you want to use whether or not, or whether is the same. If, whether, whether or not are the same. The three expressions are the same. Right? Good. So in all the yes, no question, you're going to use this. If, whether, or whether or not. Right? And notice that after if or whether, the sentence is the same. Here, for example, Sophia, are you free on Friday? Can you ask Sophia if she is free on, uh, on Friday? The thing is that when you say you here, you're telling Sophia, right? And then, for this reason here, you're going to use chi because Sophia is a woman, right? But then the rest is the same. The verb to be, the verb to be. Here you say you are, or are you in question? And then here you say she is, right? And notice that in statement and in statements, sorry, and imperatives, we use tell, tell. But when you make a question, you, you say ask, ask, you know, ask, ask because you're making a question, right? Okay. And uh, according to this, you are going to change the structure according to the, to the person. For example, in this case, we're talking about, are you free? Then you don't say, can you ask Sophia if you are free? No, you don't say that. You say, if she is free, right? Because remember, you're talking to a, a third person in this case. And in this case, Sophia, do you have my number? Can you ask her or can you ask Sophia, right? If or whether or not she has my number, okay? She has my number. You don't say she have, no, she has, right? What happened? if the sentence, if the question here is in the simple past. Imagine is that you have here, Sophia, did you have my number? So in this case, you are going to eliminate the auxiliary did, and you're going to make this, listen. Remember a simple past, right? Could you ask her if she had my number? Why have? Because the question could be in simple path, right? So this structure can be changed when you make the indirect request, okay? According to some conditions. Now we're going to uh, develop the sentences that they show in the video. Let me see, give me a second here. And oops, here, right? Okay. Teacher. Tell me, tell me, do you have a question? In the case of number three, uh, Jennifer, do you want to go to the party with me, no? Do you want to go to, to? the party? Ah, yes, okay. uh, uh, the, the instructor forgot, uh, forgot to put the proposition too. Okay. Yes, you're right, thank you. Thank you. Do you want to go to the party with me? Yes. Okay, now, then we're, uh, Remember, this is just no question. Look, do you have, do you have, uh, do you want, are you free? Did you go? Can you speak? All of these are just no question, right? So what are you going to, to do? You're going to use if in this, right? Who wants to try to make the first one? Do you have a date for the party? Who wants to help me? Volunteers, please. My salvation. Dago, Rafa, Yolanda, help me, please. <laughs> Nobody? Ah, Elvis. Hello, Elvis. Welcome to my class. Good evening. Elvis uh, Abreu, it's, it's a pleasure. My name is Javier Gomez, Elvis. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. 
Good. Who wants to help me? I see me, Mauricio. I see the face of Mauricio. I see you want to help me, right, Mauricio? Let's try. If you can't, I will help you, right? Okay, let's go to the example. First, you're going to use ask, Mauricio. You can say, can you or could you? No problem. Come on, Mauricio, go ahead. Could you? And the micro is. The microphone, Mauricio, the microphone. Sorry. Okay, good. Uh, is the first is Jennifer, uh -huh. do, you Jennifer have a, do you have a date for the party do you uh -huh. have a date for the party mm -hmm. okay uh, come on. Uh, could, could you ask Jennifer Jennifer you uh -huh. could you ask Jennifer could you ask her uh-huh could you ask could Jennifer you ask her? or could you ask her good good continue if she got to the party if she, if what she is the verb the here, Mauricio? Date. I have a date. Ah, okay, have good. A, have but, a date for but the remember party. Remember, you you give me a second, yeah. Mauricio. You're not going to say she have, right? No, she has. Okay, very good. Now, again, let's remake the sentence. Could you, could you ask? Could, could you ask, could you, could you ask Jennifer? Uh -huh. If, if if she has a date for the party. Congratulations, that's it. Could you ask Jennifer or could you ask her if she has a date for the party? Good, congratulations, right? Okay, welcome to Irving. Okay, who wants to help me with the other one, please? Me, teacher. Uh, who, uh, Yolanda, Yolanda. Yolanda. Okay, Yolanda. Uh, could you ask Jennifer uh, whether or not uh -huh. uh, she has my uh, has my number? She okay, okay. No. She perfect. Has yes, if she if she has my number, good. And the last one, please. Who wants to help me? Oh, it's tough. Oh, so Sophia. Who say who? No, no, no. Uh, sorry, I cannot. I cannot see. Yeah, because I cannot connect my camera. Ah, that's why. Noemi, Noemi, right? Yes. Yeah. Give me a second, Noemi. I will copy your name. Okay. Noemi Yesenia, right? Welcome to my class, Noemi. Wow, qué caliente. Yes. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Noemi. My name is Teacher Javier Gomez, right? Uh, yes, I remember your name. Oh, really? Do you yeah. remember me? Oh, yeah. I am famous. <laughs> uh, I, so. I I remember that you were a teacher on Capucom. Oh, yes. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, but uh, sorry, Noemi, in this case, we cannot say names. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? Okay. In other academy, right? In other academy. Okay. Okay, you know. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you. And it's a pleasure you are in my class. Okay, let's go to the to the number three, right? Okay. Come uh, on. Could you ask Jennifer if she wants to go to the party with me? Okie dokie, but if she wants or if she wants, Once. Noemi? Wants. Wants. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Clean for you too, right? Congratulations, right? So again. Jennifer, can you, no, sorry. Can you ask Jennifer if she has a date for the party? Next one. Could you ask Jennifer if she has my number? My number. And the next one. Uh, can you ask her if she wants to go to the party with me? Okay, that's it, right? Good, now let's go to the video number three. But at this moment, do you have a question, class? Questions? Oh. No, okay, good. My goodness. I am happy because this topic is very difficult. Now let's go to the next one. 
This is the video number four. Now we're going to go to WS questions. WS question, right? Here we go. Hi, everyone. At the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. So we use indirect requests when you want to give messages to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, but to leave a message. This is what we call an indirect request. Today, we're going to focus on turning WH questions into indirect requests. For example, let's say we want to know what time a particular event starts. Uh, and we want to leave the message. So uh, could you ask Sophia what time the party starts? This is what we're going to be doing throughout this lesson. So let's try to make sense of how we turn WH questions into indirect requests. So first of all, let me just uh, write down these couple of questions that we see here, this, those two WH questions. And I also want to write down the formula, if you will, in order to change the WH question into an indirect request. So I want you to notice the first question, right? So it says, Jeff, when does the party start? This is the message that I want to give to, let's say, Jeff receptionist. And so I want to make that uh, by saying, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? This is how we turn this WH question into an indirect request. So what exactly is it that we did? Well, first of all, we added, can you ask? As I mentioned, let me highlight that in a particular color. I'm gonna go ahead and choose yellow this time. I included Jeff, that's the object, right? So we include Jeff, that's the object, okay? And then I include the WH word. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this in another color just to make sure that we're getting this, all right? When, and then um, finally we include the statement, if you will, all right? The, uh, and so that's what this is at this point. Let me go ahead and uh, color this in red to make sure that we are understanding this. So um, I want you to notice a couple of things from this. One is that this is a WH question, uh, and therefore we need to use the auxiliary does. In this case, this auxiliary disappears. Right? So it's no longer gonna be present in our indirect request. Uh, the next thing is that because this disappeared, the verb also needs to match with the uh, subject, right? So because the party is third person, this verb needs to have an S, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in green just to make sure that you can clearly see what's happening. So that's what happened in our indirect request. Um, and, um, Similar thing happens whenever you do the second one. Sophia, what time should I pick you up? If you notice, this is in the form of a question. So should I pick you up? But whenever we change it to an indirect request, the, the way that we ask is by, we continue to follow, can you ask or could you ask? And then it follows the object. The object happens to be Sophia. The WH word is what time? And instead of us saying, should I pick you? up we say i should pick her up because remember we're giving the message to let's say sophia's receptionist and what we want to do is we want for her to give her that message so at this point what i want to do is i want to uh, just point out a couple of other questions that are not here that would like for you to try it out see if you can uh, change this wh questions into in that question. So, Jennifer, where's the part is, how would you change this? I mean, if you follow this form, you would use something like, could you ask Jennifer where, and remember this verb is going to be at the end, the party is. And I'd like for you to try to do the same for all of them. So the more you practice, the better. Okie dokie. So that's it, right? Now we have the, the four, the four uh, 
Give me a second here. Um, Can you ask Jeff? Give me a second. Are you? Okay. Here, right? Okay. So we have the four uh, requests, right? We have with statements, imperative, yes, no question, and W question, right? Remember in statements, right? Statement could be affirmative or negative. You only pass the information. And you can use that or not if you want. In imperative, you change imperatives into infinity, right? When it's negative, you use the word not before the preposition too. When it's yes, no question, you use the word if, right? Or the, the word whether or not, or whether, in all the questions. And now with the W question, which this is very, very difficult, but uh, you're going to adapt the question, right? And you're going to change the question according if the tense, if it is present, uh, past, future, birth to be, models, et cetera, et cetera. Right here in the example, you're using does and should, right? So you have to transform this, right? So because I see the majority of, of you have finished the, the midterm test, I will dedicate more time to this topic. So we're going to go to uh, to the to make uh, the whiteboard, and I'm going to explain how to to work with this. Give me a second here. I'm gonna try. I wanna try something here. I'm gonna explain. Uh, Pizarra, right? Whiteboard here. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is todos los participantes. Okay, good. Can you see the the whiteboard class? No, teacher. No, no. Okay. No. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, todos los participantes. Uh, Okay, now, can you see? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. So I'm gonna start writing. Oopsie. Sorry, it's the first time I'm using this. And I'm going to use this. La, la, la. Ah, I'm sorry, class. I. I have problems to write. Oh, yes, yes, now, now. Okay. Um, indirect request, right? I make it bigger. Yes, indirect request. Okay. For a reason that I don't understand, I cannot continue writing. Okay, so I need to make many. I have don't don't stop to 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 write. Okay, good. Yes. Sorry, game. I ask you for patience. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it finally. Good. So let's start with the WH question, right? Let's start with, uh, let's say, with do, does, do and does, right? When does the party start? Question mark. Then we have this. But we just don't see anything. You don't see anything? No. No. Goodness. I'm gonna try with this. No, no, sorry. No, no, I, I don't want- No, it's okay, teacher. When does the party start? Okay, good. 
Understood. But the thing is that I cannot continue writing in the... Ah, uh, okay. Right. I understand. I understand. I have to go one by one. Yeah. Okay, good. So, WH question, right? When, when does the party start? Start, enter. Start. When does the party start, right? And I have to make it this bigger. Okay, good. When does the party start? So in this case, we are using does, right? Now let's make the indirect, the indirect request. Let's see. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Here, okay. Can you ask uh, let's say Irving when yes, teacher. hello Irving <laughs> when the party starts Now, let me see. Good. Now I can make it now. Okay. Can you ask Irving when the party starts? I miss a T here, right? In the, in the, in the yes, no, and W's question, the T, but you know it, there is a T. So what I do here is I eliminate das. When I eliminate das, it necessary I change the verb start for starts, right? Okay, now let's make a question with do. When do the parties, in plural, start? Okay. When do the parties, because in this case it's plural, right? Now, I'm gonna say, uh, my homework is to, to practice with, the, <laughs> with this board. Eh? Okay, uh, let me see. When do the parties start? This is in plural, right? So what I'm going to do is to make the auxiliary to disappear. Could you ask uh, Daniel when the parties, in plural, start? Okay, that's it, right? Could you ask Daniel when the parties start? So in the first one, I eliminate does. I change the verb, right? In the second one, I eliminate do and no changes, right? Now let's go to the simple pass. When did the party start? When did the party start, right? Okay, now I'm learning, look, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, good, next one. Could you ask Dago when the party started? I'm learning, I'm learning. 
Okay, good. So now, why I changed the verb start for started? Because I disappeared did. Look, I disappeared did. Huh? So when I make does disappear, let me see if I can move this. Yes, I can move it. Yes, okay, very good. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. So, and only that. Yes, good. So, when I make does disappear, I put an S in the verb, right? When I make do disappear, I don't put anything, right? And when I make did disappear, I change the verb for the simple present to the simple past because I'm not using the auxiliary did in this case, right? Good. Any question about this? Okay, now let's go to models. Let's go to models, right? I'm going to erase everything here. Models. Okay. I have a dot. Tell me, tell me, tell what? me. What what does mean a uh, weather? Ah, it's the same if, Rafa. If. Uh huh. Okay. When you say if, you're saying weather. It's the same. Oh, also you can say whether or not. Uh -huh. Okay. It's the same. It's the same. No problem. Like when if you want to use can or could, it's the same. No problem, right? Okay. Now, make the question. Where should the party start. Okay, where, let me see the size, if I can make it bigger. Okay, nice. I can make it bigger, right? Where should the party start? Here I'm using a model, right? So what I'm going to do, can you ask, can you ask Yolanda, I'm, I'll copy where, right? Where, where the party, should start okay the size 24 you pee i can make it now okay now when i use models for example in this case i'm using should you change the order the, the party is the, the subject, right? Instead of say, should the party, you change the position and say, the party should start. No, should the party, but the party should. So you change the order, right? Let's use another uh, auxiliar, another bear, uh, model, sorry. Uh, let me see what model can I use. Uh, Will, right? We're going to use will. When will the party start? Okay. Okie dokie, very good. Now, Let's change the order. Could you ask Sophia? Could you ask Sophia, right? When the party will start? Will start? Make it bigger.
Okay, again, right? Notice that I change the order of the model. Instead of say, will the party, I say, the party will. You change the order, right? Okay, let's make a review. When you use do, does, and did, you change the verb, right? When it's uh, does, you say the party starts. When it's did, the party started. When you use models, you only change the order, right? The order of the model with the subject, right? Okay, what about verb to be? Let's make us a, a, a WH question with the verb to be, right? To finish this part. Then we're going to make a quiz. Let me see. Where is the party? Where is the party, right? Uh -huh. Where is the party? So what could be the, the indirect? He says, can you ask, can you ask Elvis where the party is? That is it, right? Okay, very good. Good, where is the party? Can you ask Selvis where the party is? With the verb to be, we also change the order, right? Instead of say, is the party, you're going to say the party is, okay? Good. So any question? No question for the moment, okay? Now let's go to the quiz. Copy in your notebooks, please. Copy in your notebooks. Number one, uh, Rafael, right? Rafael, can you do us a favor and drive uh, us to the party? Rafael, can you do us a favor and drive us to the party? Okay, everybody, please. Let's go to the indirect, but number one, remember we have four, right? Send statement, sorry, statement, imperative, yes, no question, information question, right? Okay, Noemi, this question is for you. Can you do us a favor and drive us to the party? Is a statement, is imperative, is just no question or is information question, Noemi? Okay. It's a, uh, in the red question? In, no, 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 no. Okay, four options. Listen. Statement, imperative, yes, no question, information question. Um, it's a... Okay, I will give, give you a clue, Noemi. The sign here indicates that it's a question, right? Yes. But it's a yes, no question or an information question. Information question. Mm. Yes, no question. Sorry. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. So it's a yes, no question, right? Okay, so in the yes, no question, you're going to use if, right? Okay, good. Now, do it, please. Do it right now, everybody. Use if, please. Copy in the notebook. 
In the meantime, I will make the number two. Pregunta. Yes, yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, can you do ask? Estoy pidiendo, estoy diciéndole. Uh -huh. Habría, habría pensado que, que debería decirle a Rafael: uh, uh -huh. Can you do ask, ask uh, a alguien? No. No, no, no. You're asking the favor, you're making the request. To Rafael, right? Okay. Uh huh. So in this case, you're going to say, "Could you ask Rafael uh -huh. if?" Ah, okay, good. Yes. If, and then try to make the rest, right? Oops, uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Done. Now I have it. I have can it you done. ask? Can you ask Rafael if he does us a favor and drive us to the party? Okay, give me a second. Uh, here. Sorry, I'm I'm experimenting here, right? Okay, good. Again, please repeat. Can you ask Rafael? Uh -huh. If he does us a favor and drive us to the party. Uh-huh. But exactly. in this case, you are using, this, listen, you are using the, the auxiliary or the modal can, right? I think can that you are Rafael if he can if he, if he if he can can that's it right if he can do us a favor do us a favor uh -huh. he can do us a favor and drive us to the party and drive us to the party so number one is good for everybody in the quiz now let's go to number two let's go to number two right so i'll repeat the answer i'll repeat the answer could you ask rafael uh, if he can do us a favor and drive us to the party. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's go to number two. Number two. Uh, is uh, Dagoberto, right? Dagoberto. Uh, how many friends uh, can I bring? Can I bring? Uh, to your party, to your party. Okay. Number two, right? Okay, good. Again, it's a statement, it's an imperative, it's a yes, no question, or it's an information question. The, the yes, question is question. for evening. I'm sorry? No. Information. information. Information question, yes, because you're using how, remember? Where, when, what, how, what time, et cetera, et cetera, is a, a WH question or information question, right? So in this case, you're going to say, could you ask, or can you ask Dagoberto, or can you ask him when, where, how, et cetera, et cetera, right? Come on, copy and make the indirect request, please.
Irving, ready? Could you, yeah, could you ask Dagobert, Dagobert okay. how many friends can I bring to your party? Uh, okay. What's the indirect uh, request, Irving? Uh, Let's start with can you ask or could you ask, right? Could you ask Dagoberto how mm -hmm. many friends can I bring to your party? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I bring? Remember, I explained that you're going to change the, the model and the subject. The model is can, and the subject is I. So please get Irving change it, right? Again, again. Okay, could you ask Dagoberto how many friends I can bring to your party? Congratulations, that's it, right? Uh, Could you ask, or can you ask Dagoberto how many friends I can bring to his party, right? Yes? To his party, I forgot to say this, right? Not to your party, but to his party. But is, ah, okay. Because it's we're the, talking about Dagoberto, right? It's the Dagoberto's party. Uh-huh, yes. And by the way, that were to, you didn't invite us to the party, eh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Good. So how many friends I can bring to his party, right? Even thank you very much. Thank you very much, Even. Okay, let's go to thank number you. three. Let me see what time is it. <gasps> My goodness, five minutes to finish. Okay. The only thing we're going to do is the next, right? We're going to make number three, and then I have to make this question. Everybody finish the midterm test? Yes or no? Yes. Everybody? Yes. You don't need my help? Yes. Yes? I need your help. Yes. Okay. Yes, I didn't okay, good. So uh, I'm going to finish with the mini quiz because I only have five minutes. I only have five minutes, right? So I need to go to the, to the midterm test. So let me see here right uh, i was so excited making this, this quiz that i forgot that i have to explain the the midterm test okay uh, that's it but again right to finish this idea uh remember there are four four uh manners to make indirect requests number one statements number two uh, imperatives, number three, yes, no question, and number four, information question, right? Good. Now let's go to the test. The first part is listening, right? So we listen the audio, and you have one, two, three, and four parts, right? Yeah. One. No uh -huh. So you listen to the audio. Let's make number one, right? Let's make number one. You listen to the audio and then you only answer, right? Listen the first one, right? Units one to two quiz. Part A, listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Bill. Hey, I haven't seen you since you went off to art school. How do you like it? School's great. I have this fantastic painting teacher, Mr. Parks, who is so cool. What do you like about him? Well, he's the kind of teacher who is completely honest in his opinion of our work. And when he criticizes us, he always includes some helpful advice. He sounds like a great teacher. Okay, so th that is the number one, What's right? What's wrong, Shelley? Well, Martin. I sent Sorry. a close friend. Okay, good. So the only thing you have to do is to check Thomas, Mr. Park, or Bill, right? Remember, I won't give you the answer. Sorry, guys. But my question is, did you understand the audio when you were listening? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. No problem with that. Let's go to the number two. Choose the correct word, right? Here we're talking about... Uh, let's say personalities, right? And then here he says, this is part of logic, right? I prefer 
a boss who I can do my best for her. Tempera temperamental, mm, organized, mm, egotistical, mm, right? So by logic, you're going to tell me the answer, right? Then patty, modest, intolerant, or stingy. You know stingy, right? <laughs> so when I say brags, eh, in Spanish, you say, in El Salvador, you say, se la pica. Ella se la pica, right? <laughs> so that's when you say brags. So never brags. So she's modest, intolerant, or stingy. Our coach can stand, or our coach hates, considerate, easy going, easy going or autistic players. This is a question of personality, right? I don't want to work with difficult person. Who is a difficult person? Sensitive, unreliable, or sociable? That's it. Any question about this vocabulary? No. No question, okay, good. No. Let, let's go to part C. Some of you finish this, right? But you know, uh, I can help you if you want. So in this part, you have to use the logic, right? Uh, for example, you're going to start number one with I don't mind, for example, right? And then I don't mind it when blah, 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 right? Number two. So again, you say, I can't stand. I mean, I hate, I can't stand, right? Number three, he said, it makes me happy. And then you make the rest, right? So this part is very difficult, but try to follow the logic. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Good. Let's continue with the next one. Jerome phrases. This part is very difficult, but it's only three. Writing a gossip, gossip, you remember is chambre, right? <laughs> a gossip, working as an architect, architect, sorry, and retiring at age 50. So here you're going to select only one. You read the sentence and logically you find one of the three uh, complement here, right? Using the gel, right? Okay. I think this part is easy. I, I consider this part is easy because they are giving you the answer, right? Now let's go to the, the next part. Complete the sentences, right? Oh, here again, it's easy. You just change, uh, choose one of these three options. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can uh, again make it, right? Until you find the correct answer. So an aerobic instructor probably earns Better paid than a tennis coach, not as hard as a tennis coach, as or as, as much as a tennis court coach, right? Aerobic instructor. Okay, then the same a web designer, an international TV journalist, psychiatrist, are open, okay, politician. <laughs> well, no commentaries about politician. And working as a comedian is worse than as much as less interesting than being a movie actor. Mm. Okay. So you just check the correct answer here, here, or here, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, the reading part. Uh, do you have questions about the reading part? Any word that is difficult? I guess this part is... Uh, I imagine Rafael likes this part because he's talking about pilots, right, Rafael? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, your favorite topic, eh? So you, you read the article, right? And then you answer. You're going to say, check three true statements, right? Three things that are true. So it means that from six sentences, you're going to check only three sentences, right? Understand? But the, your, your task is to find which ones are the correct one, right? Okay. So this is the test. Remember, I am in the platform if you want my help. I am in the WhatsApp group. Uh, yesterday, I, I was happy that Rafael wrote a message to me and I hope I could help him, right? 
But the rest of the students, if you need help, if you have questions, don't hesitate, please. And write to me in the WhatsApp. I can help you anytime you want, right? Good class, the class is over. So I don't know if you have any extra question. Yes. Tell me, tell me, Yolanda. But for Rafael. Ah, Rafael, okay, so come on, Rafael. I I, I need to know if it's true that not all uh, I, in the text in the test uh, uh -huh. is not all thing that the pilot do does uh, is interesting. I I think uh, about the number one uh, question. <laughs> not all aspect of a pilot's job are interesting. I am I am not sure if this is true. It's a, it's a personal according question, right? His personal experience, question. Uh, uh, according to his experience. <laughs> it depends because uh, I, I am a pilot, I am a private pilot, and not is my, my job. Ah, okay. So in this case, Rafael is. Is just he just pilot a plane just for for fun, right? Yes, yes. right. But if, if, imagine if, if I were a pilot, in my personal case, Yolanda can answer for, for Rafael. I would find some things not very attractive, right? Not very attractive. Okay, my personal opinion, right? But of course, you have to read Yolanda and find <laughs> it, right? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much again, everybody. So I have to say goodbye and uh, Dino say goodbye again. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>